people should let this thing rest. You have to know your purpose, then align with your purpose to be able to find fulfillment. Hello, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm so glad to see you here. If you're new here, Welcome to my humble channel. I am Blebinit. I create styles and strategies for a living as a fashion stylist and a digital marketer. So most welcome to my channel and I hope you enjoy it here. I know you're going to enjoy it here. So just click the subscribe button and let's get right into the video. So this is the part two of this video. The part one went up, I think in February or March, but I'm just filming. I have not been able to film the part two because I just wanted to add more things to what I have to say. Do you understand? So the video is going to be like long enough for you to watch. To get so um the first thing we're going to start with is trying to prove like people trying to prove that women who are not married are unhappy. Like single women, like there's just this narrative that they always spend that single women are unhappy. Like they perception do you understand it's just the way society paints it that's a very very big lie so like from uh like from where we were live to and growing up there's only there's just this picture that is printed for every i'm going to use from where i am like from nigeria like as an african woman from when we're so young we have been groomed for this particular thing like oh marriage is marriage is something that is said to be like a milestone like that's what that's all that we are meant to do for example like when you wake up late is that the way you wake up in your husband's house you don't know how to cook oh what your husband needs like germs are like literally like don't walk like that men don't like when you walk like that why are you cutting your hair men like women with hair stuff like that so like it has just been like something that has been instilled in the society that even when they see a single woman they shame a single woman i know they just portray this fact that oh this person is unhappy even if like the person just fairly online today like someone's just trying to give advice to somebody and people are like oh you are or you are unhappy you are sad that these girls are getting married and you are not married they're like a marriage is not a call happiness so like i just i just feel like it's it's just a weird thing and i feel like in 2024 we should not be thinking like that like there should not be people who be thinking like that but to my surprise there are people it's just really crazy to like in this age and time you think because a woman is unmarried she's on she's unhappy it's just really really um something that bothers me in general but as, in, as an African woman that lives in Nigeria, because of how the society is, you, you just find a way to find, you just have to find a balance and just, just allow all these things. Because if you let it annoy you, you're going to be annoyed every freaking day of your life. Especially when you go out often, do you get me? So the African thing is the fact that women also think like this, that there are women in this society in the age and in this age and time, this age and time that actually still believes that that even when like there's always this thing you guys i don't know it's a regular thing in where i come from when one of your friend gets married and just cuts up everybody because you are the single people you are the ones that are wayward do you understand all those all those kind of things like women themselves now believe like there are women who believe if you are not married yet then every other thing does not count my own point in this um video it's just that I just want to pre pinpoint it. Be you a woman watching this video, a man watching this video of any age. I just want you to know that your value or like your fulfillment in life does not lie in marriage. I know like it's a very, very, very difficult thing for people to learn, especially people that were born before us. I mean, for Gen Z's, we're like, like we're open to like exploring and going, thinking outside the box, questioning things. But like for the people before, they were not daring enough to ask questions. Like I've, I've heard it count to countless times that Gen, Z, Gen Z's, you ask stupid questions. It does not matter. We want to know. Do you understand me? But like their generation, they did not do anything to like challenge the status quo. Like there was just this norm that everybody was just like following, like following these rules. Like, ooh, ooh, rules made by who? Like, are you getting me? Like, I just feel like you should not be thinking like that. That's why I'm, you, that's why I put this topic and I actually just want to put it in this video. Not, I just wanted to 
inspire somebody. Just want to wrap up this particular one because you said topic that I'm really talking about. And if I keep talking, I'll just, if I, if I just keep talking, I'll just keep talking, talking, talking. So I just want to just like the main point of, and the reason why I brought this here is just to tell you, like, if you're a guy, a man watching this, I just want you not to shame women. Do not shame women who are not married or see them unless of a person because they are not married. Like, do not attach, um, do not, um, review the value on a woman because she's not a man. That's for men. Then if you're maybe watching this, this is not for the women. Like, if you're looking for women in this life, you have to know your purpose. Then align with your purpose to be able to find a women. I do not have like, a roadmap for you, but I just have one thing for you. If you are looking to align with your purpose, you have to work closely with God. That's the only thing I have for you. I don't have a roadmap for you for you to follow. And I find like my life is different from your life. Everybody's journey is very, very different. So you have to discover things for yourself. But the only thing you have to work with God to be able to attain fulfillment by finding your purpose and aligning with your purpose. She gets me. So let's get to the next one. So the next thing on the list is policing people's thing. See, I don't... The truth of the matter... Do you know, I feel like the origin of this problem is in Hollywood. I'm serious. Because when somebody dies, the person that is not crying or someone is acting different from everybody, they say that's the person that killed the person that died. Are you getting... So I feel like that's where this whole thing came from. People need to be educated. You have to know that crying is not the only way to grieve. And our brains, like different people with how their brain work, like some people's brain process the grief differently. Like some people, they don't, have, they don't cry. Like some people will not even cry for the first one month and the second month is just hit them. Are you getting it? That's how it works. Like it, because like it's just that it's a general thing that all oh, people are wailing all the time and you feel like, oh, that's the norm. That anybody that's not wailing is the person that killed the person. It's just really crazy because there was this lady that was saying that uh, she was the eldest daughter and she was just like saying her mom died and her mom's sisters are literally saying that she's the one that killed her mom because she's yet to cry. And apparently she was the one in the um hospital room while uh, when the mom died. Do you understand me? So there's just, there's just this conspiracy that she's the one that killed the mom because she has not cried. Like, are you getting me? It's just really, really crazy. How do you want to educate all these people? Like, anyway, that's the essence of this video. If you are watching this video, there is no one particular way to grieve. You must not cry immediately, or there are different things that you can. There are different way people process grief, and do not police how people grieve. Nigerian, do not police people's grief. Do you hear me? So let's go to the next one. Uh, yeah. So next one I wrote here. I'm just going to read what I wrote then. I will explain what I mean. Um, putting people in a box that they have to be one thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, that's, that's a topic. So this particular issue is, it's, it's actually starts from like when we are actually needs like when we are children, you see, um, parents saying like, if you're a child that talk a lot, they will start telling you that, oh, you should be a lawyer or you should be this. Like if you're a, son, if you're a child that's saying, ah, this one should be a doctor or just like stuff like that. Just putting people in a box, like it affects like children growing up. Like just allow children to explore. Like I just feel like it's just cues. Like it's from a young age, it just cues spirits of exploring, like spirits of like trying things that you like and trying like things that you know you enjoy. Do you understand me? And they just like for I think now, I think this generation things have changed. But like when when I was growing up, this is a doctor, lawyer, pharmacist, like there is just this thing, engineer. There was just like this category that you must follow. That if you are not following that idea, you are not going to be successful in life or you are playing with your life, stuff like that. I feel like those things should like really, really stop putting people in a box. I'm talking now like, as, as like grown up, not to like even children, like to grown ups. Some certain people like just give up the vibe by something just like mention it to you. Like, ah, they are doing fashion design business is doing well. Like, why are you doing private chef? Like, it's what the person wants to do. Like, don't put people in a box. Especially in this economy, like, if you're living in Nigeria, you know how this economy is. Even like when a person is close to you, right? Like, don't like dismiss what people say. Like, oh, someone like, oh, I want to start a YouTube channel. And you're like, ah, you know, it's your 95. You want to start, let people be. Do you understand? If person wants to be a creator while being their 95, it's actually okay. Do you understand me? Like, 
stop putting people in a box. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm. The next one is nobody owes you shit. I'm just being honest. No matter how close like you guys are, your best friend, you guys grew up together, you, you guys have been you guys have been besties, you guys have been, um, grew up from the same neighborhood, went to the same circle. If like you have been together your whole life, do you understand me? Nobody owes you anything. I understand that oh, there's a certain level of loyalty that people always want, but just having to mind that nobody owes you anything. So like when somebody forgets something or don't do something for you, or like they can't go out of their way to do something for you because they are putting their self first, then you are the NASA calling person, the bad person, start blaming them. Like like it's just a kind it's just a very weird way to behave. Do you understand? Like stop that. Do you understand me? Like, nobody owes you anything. If anybody goes out of their way to help you, you should be very, very grateful and thank the person and show gratitude. Do you understand me? Because nobody owes you anything. You might feel like, oh, because we've been friends for, for, um, for, for so long and so, so this person is supposed to help me out with this thing. No, they are not obligated to help you. So if they are helping you, it's out of their own goodwill. Like, do not be entitled. Like, I do not be entitled because people will run away from you. All right. And I'm saying me, I don't like entitled people. Do you understand me? So like, once I just see you moving your type of way, do you understand me? I'll just move myself on this tree. So just, yeah, moving away. I guess there are some people like me that's also there that you like. Like, I just, I just feel like we can just coexist in this world without like being entitled. Do you understand? Like, just know that. Okay. Well, this one is for me. I have to do this for myself. Just but like do not add the other people and say, ah, this should be able to do and, and when they like you just have a very crazy expectation from this person and now this is not able to meet up to your expectation and this is not a bad person. No, this is not a bad person, you're the one that put them there. Do you understand me? They can't help you. And you can't call people selfish for that sometimes because you don't know what that person is going through. Do you understand me? So, like, you cannot just put it on your head and say, oh, that person is a bad person. This is what person did to me. Do you know what person was going through? Because not everybody likes sharing what they are going through. The person might be going through something and the person didn't tell you. So, like, I understand that communication in this, in this basis work, but there are some certain things that you cannot communicate with emotions. Like, just like inside, inside house matter that you have to do it. Do you understand? So the last one is manifestation. I am talking about that manifestation that is pending, that when you see someone driving a ring and you say, tell yourself, I manifest that ring, the universe is going to bring it to me, blah, 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 blah. You see that one? That's what I'm talking about. First of all, I don't believe that the universe will come and give me anything. I believe that it's God that gives me something because I'm a Christian and my whole being, like my whole living is centered around God. So I believe he's the one that makes things happen in my life and I pray to him and he answers my prayers. Do you understand me? So back to the whole um this breaking bag you are manifesting you are manifesting it and it's going to find its way to you and all of that. Everything that you want is on its way to you. I say that line too. You wake up every morning and the thing you say is everything that I want is on the way on its way to me. Do you understand? Fine. You can manifest, you can manifest that Range Rover, that Breaking Bag, that weave, that um, house. You can keep manifesting and waiting for your own universe, like the universe to come and give it to you. Well, I am trying, I've did that my own point of this, of me bringing this up is to tell you my own uh, unpopular opinion about it. Let me tell you something. Manifesting something does not mean it will come to you. First thing, first thing first, you have to align with God. Like, what you want, you have to be aligned with God. And God has to be in the process. That's one. And secondly, is that you cannot sit down and fold your hands. Like, sit down and be looking and be waiting for rain to come to you or waiting for the house to come to you. Yes, chances are that someone can just say, oh, come and give to this bag or give to this car. Fine. That might happen. But do you know that there's a 99.99% that nobody's coming to give you anything? Are you getting it? Nobody's coming anywhere. You have to walk. Even help those who help themselves, talking to Christians, even help those who help themselves. So if you are saying, telling God that you want, and you're not taking steps, like you are not taking steps in faith to be able to do this thing, like, oh, you want to have the biggest restaurants, 
in your and you have not even started to even be selling normal bowl, bowl of soup on Instagram or like also your neighbor that say oh I I do um, a bowl of soup so or I do this um, uh, menu weekly and you want so you have to take steps like you can't just sit down you have to do the work nothing is coming to you if you don't if you don't work for it there is no food for lazy man don't sit and cross your hand and your leg and thinking that everything is coming to you no so when I say take steps. Take steps for something that you are manifesting. I do not mean that you should do something that will put you in a position for somebody to do it for you. That's not what I'm saying. That's still like wanting someone to do something for you. Like, for example, you want this car, right? And you are not able to afford it right now. So, the, and you don't have a job. Just, I'm mean, just sitting at home. You don't have a job. Or the, the job that you are, the job you are, you are at right now, they are paying you. So you need to find like a better position, like a better position and also like take courses, maybe take courses that will make them like promote you, do you understand? Or courses that will make um, other people take you to another company or take a new road that get you that good money to be able to get this car. No, you rather carry your money and go to a restaurant where people will drive this car, the people that can afford this car uh, so that they can help you and buy the car. That is not what I'm saying. That's not the step I'm saying. The step I'm saying is to equip yourself. Like, don't, don't, like, do not have this attitude of waiting for somebody to do something for you. Do not wait for someone to do something for you. Do not put yourself in this position that, oh, I'll go to this people, this people, and I'll see somebody that, don't do that. Because you're just like, did you, like, are you trying to say that you are not a male? Like, you feel like you can't work for yourself. You don't that you do not believe in yourself. You want someone else, like, must be somebody else that will do it for you. That's not the way, oh. That's not the way. Manifest and work. When I say work, work with God. Because, see, the cheat code is to work with God. I'm just telling you. Yes, you can work the normal way and make it. Yes, fine. But the cheat code is to work with God. That's for me. It's just easy you now that some people can come and tell you an example now. And so I'm saying, speak to them. Speak, I'm speaking to, speak to women. I'm speaking to you too. I'm speaking to everybody. So then let me, let me do another example for you guys. For example, you are a guy. You want to ball. You want to ball with your friends or you want to um, have a rich family. Like you, you want to build a very a rich family. And it's all working towards it. Like working towards it, doing the things you need to do, get the job. You will sit down and be waiting for one rich family that you marry. It's looking for girls who manipulate rich girls so that you can get into their family and get, and, and, um, get wealth. You can't work for your own money. So I'm talking to everybody. It's not to sit down and manifest, manifest it. Oh, I want to, I want to have a rich family. I want to build this house and everything. But you don't think your own step that you are taking is to manipulate a woman into falling in love with you so that you can get into the family to get money. Terrible thing. So manifest. And I'm not saying you should not manifest. Manifest however you want to manifest, but work towards it. That is the matter. Just, I mean, that's my own, like, unpopular opinion. You cannot just be manifesting and sit down. You want to you want to be bowling every weekend with your guys. Be work towards it. Don't be looking for um, big guys that go all them you're going to eat them, you put your body inside so you can't be bowling them. It's like don't reach your people. Like, please let's change our ways. You get me? So guys, um <laughs> that's all. I feel like looking at myself, I'm myself just I'm looking at my expression and I'm like, oh my god. Anyway, um, thank you so much. Like this is the end of the video. Um, I am super excited I was able to do this video today. Thank you so much for watching this part. Do not forget to like this video, share with your friends, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.